We're a UN force in the uh, eastern province of Pembrokeshire, looking for uh, Afghan IED makers. Oi. Could be an IED. Lock it out. There's insurgents in the area. Don't engage any enemy. Don't be seen. We get to do all this cool stuff. Get here, water! But no one else does it. It's like our little secret. It's like the army, but for children, teaching you life skills. It's a youth organisation with military links, I guess. It's funded by the MOD. That's why it's so cheap. Okay, guys, make sure you get all your kit and put it up into the activity centre once you've got it. Okay, so let's get that done quickly. You know, you're wearing a uniform showing that you're proud to represent Great Britain, you're proud to represent, you know, Her Majesty the Queen. It's better than what you're doing on a normal day, so like coming home and playing Xbox. To be honest, I'd rather do something like cool training. From the right! Number! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight nine, ten, eleven! Oh, thirteen! Fourteen! Fifteen! Sixteen! Seventeen! So there should be not much going on in the brain. Try and stay in line with the people next to you. Try not to overtake them. I know it's a lot to think about, but I'm shy as can do it. Left turn by numbers. Left turn one. One. Left turn two. 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 Left turn three. 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 Good. Left turn by numbers. Left turn one. One. Left turn two. Two. Left turn three. 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 Good. Right. Left turn by numbers. Left, right, 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 Good, get away, you little creatures. Don't away, don't away, don't away. All of those who have taken seconds. Who's had experience shooting so far? Yes, yeah. Everyone. You've seen pictures of soldiers in Afghanistan, you know, with the SA-80. This is exactly the same as that, only difference being it can't shoot fully automatic. Yeah, and we don't get all the Gucci attachments, we just get the bog standard rifle. Um, front sight, match the two up, point at the target and shoot. Yeah, hopefully it dies. Happy? Yeah. Get ready, boys. Charlie, one, zero. Ready to receive. Over. This is Charlie one zero. Enemy sighted at grid reference. Move to forward operating base. One one Yankee Tango Zulu. No, wrong. And it's not one one, those are eyes, not one. Are they eyes? Yes. Ugh. Move to forward operating base. India, India, Lanky, Yankee, Tango, Sierra. <laughs> Over. Lanky Yankee again. I Lima! Lima! Oh, fuck. Don't! How much does one of these headsets cost? I don't know. It's not worth much anymore. <laughs> They're so hardy. They'd find like bodies of dead Falcon soldiers and like these would be intact. I've always wanted to join the army. I've just always associated it as, you know, good. <laughs> don't know really why I want to do it, it's just, I just want to do it. Can you just put your rifle back a little bit? Right guys, magazine with the depressor fitted, load! 
It's always fun to shoot. So it makes a big bang. I'm pretty competent on firing most weapons. Pull. 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 My profile picture is me holding an RPG, which I think got a few likes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wait, look. Look, it's the Taliban. Is anyone actually any good oh. shotgun? They're repelling their borders. <laughs> Ask me if you're a sister. Do you have a sister? Yeah, she's a lesbian, so... <laughs> oh, I can try, though, can I? <laughs> I think our dad also always wanted to join the army, because his dad was um, Royal Engineers. When he was learning how to drive, like, army vehicles and tanks and stuff, he used to have to take um, my dad to school in a tank. So I think my dad will also enjoy just going to school in one of them. What is it? How is it? I think so, yourself. We've been nearly three star complete in two years. Once you've um, completed your three star, you have to be 16 to go on to the next level, and I'm 14, and I'm going to be done by the time I'm 14 as well. Anybody got any injuries? No, sir. Anyone scared of heights? I'm ripped. You? Huh? I'm ripped. You're ripped? <laughs> yeah. You will be. <laughs> you will be at the end of this weekend, my son. Don't you worry about that. I think, um, I think I've got two more three stars left, so I think I might be three star by the next camp. But I'll be 15 then. I don't think I'm allowed to do my CIC. I think it's important that you don't go too far too soon, yeah? Because you could get to 16, be a four star cadet, and then oh, what are we going to do now for the next two and a half years? Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, that's why really, you know, that's why the, stri the syllabus is structured the way it is, yeah? So you don't rush through it and, and be a, a four so star good. cadet at 15 or 14, mm. yeah? Slow down a bit. Right, what I do now is all of you go and grab a helmet. Let's crack on. Okay, take the bandages off. Well done. Okay, it's a good start to the day. Uh, I'm Jonathan. I'm Edward. We're twins, so sometimes we're called Jedward. Is it recording? Hello, is it recording? Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, I don't know what I would do if I wasn't in cadets. We were so interested in, like, joining the army. and You, like, learn loads of life skills and, like, map and compass, first aid. All the staff, they just care about you and make sure you're all right and make sure you have fun. A bit like our uncles. It's a good place just to come and you know you're not going to get judged. Yeah, and like you motivate each other and I can't really sum it up, like what's the best bit? So yeah, this kit was used in the, like the Falklands. Just trying to look right, are you on the right frequency? 37000. See, that means it's working, yeah? So... In Afghanistan, the Taliban, they might use some, like, cheap walkie-talkies from, like, Argos or something. And as they're quite near the... They use the radios near the sea, which gives them... gives it, uh, the radio waves a large surface area. Anyway, in, in Afghan, there's not really much buildings, so they should be able to transmit. Uh, Hello, Woodward. This is Chigi. Radio check over. OK, I'll go and get my Charlie, this is Whiskey. Three enemies seen moving in the distance. Over. Zero, Charlie, Roger, out. Oh, shit, sorry. I'm so I stepped on her head. I can't believe I was still on her head. I didn't know we were going. OK, welcome past all of them. We need to set the change lever to A, automatic, OK? And the safety catch to fire. And now the LSW should fire, operating the trigger. OK, so that's exactly the same as the A2. Everyone happy with that? Oh. Mom, your turn. Yay! Yay. Yay. Well, our granddad was in the Navy. He was in, like, um, a Navy ship, like, 
and that's how he become deaf because they used to just shoot like overboard at the mines and like because they didn't have ear defenders then he's sort of gone deaf. <laughs> Our granddad's actually really proud of us that we're in the cadets and he's always mm. interested what we've done. I'm proud of like to be a Great Britain, you know, be my, a British citizen. My room has so a really. um, Union Jack like duvet cover because it goes with the rest of my room, like the colours. But yeah, so. I just think it, you know, it is sort of patriotic. So when people come in here, you know, they can t know, you know, I'm patriotic to my country and I'm proud to be British. If it wasn't for those fallen soldiers, you know, in the future, we wouldn't probably be speaking English or whatever. And I think we just got to remember that and, you know, just like be grateful for what they've done. <laughs> I think maybe you need to readjust your button. It should be same there. So it's down your shoulder. That's right. Okay. Come to your boots. Did they get scuffed? Yeah, when I went up in the field. Yeah. They said I couldn't join ADHD because I had the army. Um, no, they said because I had ADHD, because I have ADHD, I'm not allowed to join the army. And I don't see, I don't see why. ADHD just means that you can't stop moving. You out in Afghanistan for a month or two. You run out of tablets. What would you do then? I would ask to be sent home or ask for some medical. ADHD people are not that different. They just. They can get angry easily and stuff like that. Yeah, that's the thing, anger. Because if they're holding a gun and they get angry at a sergeant or something. Yeah, but you wouldn't get angry at someone on your team because you know that you could kill someone. You kind of know to a certain extent. I mean, you could get angry and hit them, but you can't get angry and shoot them. I just need to learn how to control, just to control stuff, like my behaviour. It was a bit of a shock thinking that I had ADHD. Because then I thought that was different. And I, I hate feeling different. Oh, Jesus. If an alien, one alien came down to Earth, and everyone was like human, he would feel really weird because like he's different. It's like that, really. <laughs> Just like a buzz of agitation. You just want to move. She's trying to tell your body to stay still, but your brain is just telling you to move. Like, if you hear a really good song that you like and you want to dance to it, and that starts tapping your feet or something, you might find it a bit embarrassing, and then you just can't stop moving. Even though you don't want to dance to a song, you're, you're still dancing to it. It feels like that, really. George, are these yours? <laughs> no, you can have them. <laughs> oh, it's still too big for me. At school, if I get stressed in a day and I don't get and I can't do anything in the evening, that relieves all my anger. What a better place than to do it on my cadets because you get to like shoot weapons. I like shooting. <laughs> the feeling of, you know, you can hold something that can kill someone. I know it sounds a bit weird, but when you have the rifle in your hand, you feel like you can do anything. And it feels really good, because you know that you've been trusted with something like that. Like, normally I wouldn't be trusted with nothing like that. Nothing. See that, Mum? See Mum? Parade! As you were. Parade! As you were. Come on, switch on! OJ, why are your feet together? I don't know. They need to be shoulder width apart. If I go around. A little bit more. Otherwise you just look really different to absolutely everyone else. <laughs>
Come on, switch on. We'll do this all night if we need to. No! Turn! That was poor. That was abysmal. Remember, when you're bringing your leg up, don't like bend down into it as you bring it up because you just look really retarded doing that. Just bring the leg up. You don't need to bend at all. Go on. Oh, 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 is he, no, he's gonna crack. You know he's gonna crack. Look, all right, we love him. Yeah, it's, it's going. There we go. Oh, oh actually, I think, I, think, oh, no. I thought the Russian might make it. No. no. Oh, Leighton, oh, I think Is he, he a serious have, man? I think he might have met your match, Leighton. Do you reckon? I don't know, he's cracking. Oh, he moved his head. Oh, there he fails. Oh. Do you reckon he'll pass? I don't know. Let's go down to his height. Oh, <laughs> you're so close! <laughs> the heel and the toes. OJ, stop fidgeting. You're not a dancer. You look like you're from JLS when you do that. Wow. That is really quite so you get it. Yeah. Stop talking. It's good. Well, advance. Right! Done. Remember, bring both legs up. Just because you're doing it over and over again, doesn't mean you can slack and just sort of half do it. Because well, then we'll just have to do it Yeah, longer. then we'll just do it more. You right, attention. Stop moving. <sighs> Done it! Hey! Is this boring you? Yeah. Mm -mm, you're tired. You're tired. So it's boring you? It's fine. Don't you find it a dis bit disrespectful when people yawn on parades down there? Yeah, I, I do. I think it means they're bored. <coughs> right. I'm tired anyway. Fun, What's that? You feel dizzy? Yeah, Go. Sit down over there. By the bush. You can call your mum if you really want. You two step to the right. A bit weird today. <sighs> really tired. You've got to stand there and wait till they tell you to fall out. So, oh, oh. The mum and dad are in. Let's get back nice and safely. Then when they said they had ADHD, you didn't feel right. And yeah, it's a bit crazy. German officers in a tank to boot, to boot. Three German officers in a tank to boot, to boot. Three German officers in a tank, two to drive and one to <laughs> Two eyes, two eyes, a double a bar, to double a bar, ba doo. I was definitely going the right way. I believe we should be going in this direction. The economic status at this moment in time, it's not really good. Guys, there's a path right here. Yeah, it's a bit slippery here. Right, stay to the edge, you'll slip yeah. in, just go to the middle, it's not that deep. Whoa. Everything is so cheap in Cadets. You join initially for 20 quid, that's to pay for your uniform. Weekends cost about a tenner. I'm sort of looking towards the British Army or the Royal Marines. You're always going to need soldiers. You're always going to need someone to go out there, shoot the ammunition. I'm not scared of anything. What's that? What's that? I hear voices. You can hear people to the right. Watch out for the IED. What? Mine. What? Mine. 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 Come on, lads. Let's fucking push through, can. I don't really mind what I join, as long as I'm not sitting around on benefits, bored out my ass. Life is too short. Oh, you're bleeding, mate. What wounds? Go handle it. Man, I don't need I don't need plasters. Well, I'm I... a man, I can handle it myself. Kill him! It's been good. Do you know what? I I was saying to Hammond on um we were on a walk and I was saying to him, I said I really I will really miss cadets when I leave. Hmm. Yeah, so I much. will. I will. That's part of the reason I'm joining the TA. Because <laughs> I know I'm going to miss well, the Well, that's adventure. why the IMOD fund us so much, because we're the best sort of advertising you going to the army. We have the stories to you get, tell. You get muddy cadets, boots, you get muddy trousers, but it's all worth it. Yeah. See ya. <laughs>
It's when he hits you in the shin. Sometimes I say that I never want to be in a cadet. Sometimes I say I love it. I don't think I'm gonna stay on to be calm, like going to the into the into Afghanistan or anything. But I don't think I'll leave soon. I mean I never know. I might, I might get fed up with it. Sometimes it's really annoying because they just wash you about. Because even at school, like if you see someone at school that has a um that is like sergeant, you say hello sergeant, you're not calling by their first name. See that's how, and that's how much respect you have to show you then. But then you can't really change it because it's been the culture forever, hasn't it? It's been the it's been the rule forever. So I can't just change it because I want to. You gotta be like the queen, haven't you, to change it? Well not even the queen. Don't think the queen can change it. myself with a GoPro on right? Oh that's weird. I was cleaning a weapon. Someone got up and put dust all over the rifle which had oil and oil and dust don't really go well together. And I just well, I just flipped out to be honest. I got angry, I like threw an ammo pouch at him. Then the sergeant came and then I threw like an actual ammo case thing. I like hit him in the head. I didn't take my ADC tablet that day for definite. Cause I wouldn't have done that on my ADHD tablet. So they decided like, oh, don't think we can keep you, I guess. Thing is they didn't so casually, like it didn't matter. Like they put me in a car and then they're there talking, oh, oh blah, 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 I want your kit and everything. So, ugh. I bet they all miss me. <laughs> like, oh, where's OG? Nah, they don't miss me. I don't think I don't. Most of them ask where I where I am and stuff, but that's it, really. I don't think they really miss me. So yeah, I guess it did upset me. Upset's quite an extreme word for a teenager, right? Oh man, I look such a wimp saying that word, upset. And all my friends are gonna be watching this. Yeah, I don't think I really want to go back. It's going to waste so much of my time. Especially because I want to do something to do with football, so... Everyone's going to the cadets nowadays. I think it's because it's so cheap and... I bet in like 10 years time, everyone's going to be in the cadets. Everyone. It's kind of like a mini army of little children marching around. Who here was planning on going to university? Who here would like to go to university for free? Oh. Whose parents would like them to go to university for free? <laughs> Consider the armed forces. We're one of the few people left that are offering you money to stay in education. Why should you join the army though? Free medical and dental, free pension, training, combat. We need doctors, we need nurses, we need medics. If there's anybody here who thinks I'd like to ride a horse for the next 24 years and get paid for it and live in central London, King Street, Royal Horse Artillery, ride a horse for the next 24 years and get paid for it.
All small cogs in a big machine that allows the army to do what it does best. What is the army's job at the end of the day? Go on at the back. To protect Britain. No. Kill the enemies of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. That is our job. We don't go in nicely nicely. We go in hard, we go in fast. Money makes the world go round, ladies and gentlemen. We're offering you a career for the last 24 years and we'll pay you on every Friday at the end of the month, paying you 365 days a year. I'm here, I'm getting paid. Yesterday I was in hospital with my son, he's having his tonsils out. I got paid. <coughs> Two weeks time I'm going to Magaluf on a lad's holiday. I was still getting paid. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much every cadet I know goes through a phase where they want to join the army. And then they kind of get won over by all the cool stuff they're doing cadets. It's one way for kind of kids who are too young to join the army to kind of get an idea of what it's like. Okay, so your chairs, off you go. Like probably when you filmed this last, we were really, really keen and everything. I, I think I wanted to join the army at that point as well. It's, it's something that I know I could do and I know I could do well. But like now it's not a kind of big ambition or a big dream. It's just kind of like a backup plan. I might go into business. Honestly, I have no clue. I'll decide when I get there. I think that's the best plan. So yeah, growing up. I guess I feel more cynical, I don't know. You realise you're not in cadets because you think it's the army, you're in cadets because you want to have fun. Um, and I mean, now that we're both high up now, we know pretty much all there is to know about the cadets. And so you're not learning, you're kind of like there to help the other kids learn. OK, the fourth one, anyone know? Yeah. Yep. Um, the shot must be fired through without... Uh, any disturbance of the position. Okay, so you need to be able to fire off the weapon, okay, by squeezing the trigger gently, okay, so that you don't jerk and you don't disrupt your position. And therefore, in theory, if you aim in the same place, you should get it in the same place, yeah? Okay, he knows what the third one is. Sight picture and alignment must be correct, so you want to be aiming just below the centre circle, okay? So on, not in the middle of the centre circle, so for example, if you're shooting at a centre circle like this, you'd aim here, not here. Do you understand that? Yeah? So you'd aim here, not here. Yeah? We've got that. If you learn discipline at a young age, then it's, it does set you up for the rest of your life. At some point, I'd like to come back as an instructor, like give something back. Return the favour for other kids. We are 13 and we are just about to go into contact. I, I mix up the mags and I don't know which one to put it in. Oh. Do I have to reload? Like unload and reload them all? You can't unload them. Oh. So should I put them away in my mags? Yep, give me any Emily's pouch. I was a bit bored at home, so I needed something to do. And I'm interested in the army, so it's just like the perfect thing to do. The first time I was like, I have no idea what to expect. I've seen what they were doing and I was like, I can't copy that, that's going to be so hard. And now I've just got the hang of it. First company weekend, I just didn't know anyone, so I sat there and just followed Lee round. And now I'm sort of like, I'm known in the company as Teddy Bear. We just had to make up a story off the bat, and he was just like, a story about a teddy bear, and I was like, can I have a different choice? And he was like, no, you're a teddy bear. You tell a story about yourself. Then everyone just called me Teddy Bear. 
Catch me, Teddy. No, I'll let you drop. Right, you're talking when I'm talking. That's a problem. Oi, Blondie. So, like I said, no running around. You've got this time to rest, OK? Use it. Everybody happy? Sir. Sir. If you need the toilet, make sure you ask before you go. Everyone stand. Sir. Right, sit, take your kit off, relax. Tell it, Abby's. Really? There goes something like that. La, la. Ipsy dipsy, <laughs> la la and po. No, but cool. pumpkins are evil and unicorns are nice. Unicorns are evil, actually. No, they're not. I've got a unicorn. They could kill you with I the spiky say, bit. No, and I'm then you close there. it, pull off the action, and then you put the round in. But when you no, put your first round in, remember to put the safety, the safety on. on. Yeah. Yeah, no, unicorns are real. I have the unicorn with that last thing. Stop talking about unicorns. I'm not weird. Have you ever shot a point two two before? What's that? Yeah. Oh yeah, I shot. This is going to be my third time. I'm scared. I just want to hit the target. I'm not scared of shooting. I want to get. I want to get the target right. Yeah. If you don't get it in the right place, it can dislocate your shoulder. My estate's not very like nice sort of thing. It's more of the more poor areas because it's more like dirty and there's a lot more crime happening in that area. A lot of the kids there, they're up to no good. So I think there was a few stabbings and shootings there and. It's just not good. No. Ladies and gentlemen, do not talk. Burke, you need to stop talking now. I already had to move because of like problems at home. My mum and dad, they just split up and it's sort of like my mum has to start all over. The landlord is selling the whole house and we don't have the money to buy it, so we're just going to have to relocate completely. It's just, wow, what's going on? You just need to calm down and take a chill pill, but sometimes you can't because you've got too much on your mind. Guys, aim for the bottom right. half of the target, not the not the top half, the bottom. Half. Guys, don't go, don't get, don't get like rushed yeah, and go. Not be able just to literally aim. Who is? Prepare to move. Move. Halt. Friend or foe? Friendly. Advance. Halt. Friend or foe? Friendly. Advance. Yeah, I'm a bit sleepy. We didn't get a lot of sleep last night, but you know, I'm enjoying it. It's all good fun. There are three groups, and as one group rests, another will be protecting, and another one will be doing a reconnaissance patrol, and it will change in a couple of minutes' time. Keep your stuff safe, okay? They will try and pinch your equipment. They like trade. So if you have sweets with you, the little boiled sweets, use them, trade it for information. Don't give them water. It might sound harsh, but they'll nick your water bottle. This is section one. When we get there, we're going to do an all-round defence beforehand, and then Charlie fire team are going to break away and going to investigate. But when you, when you approach them, make sure you're not like holding your rifle towards or anything. So we've gained some intelligence that there may be a few people around and... If, if we uh, get approached by a local, we're going to have to like trade sweets with them and things like that, so it's pretty cool. Lo, do you want to say something? You're, you're navigating. <laughs> sweets are amazing out here. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah, I've been navigating this section to um, 
find enemy intelligence to know what the what they do and find anything to what they're doing and where they're trying to plan basically section one let's go, go. Form up. since we last met we were doing our um, GCSE exams we did pretty well in those came out with very good grades um, we've taken on more responsibility helping to run the platoon people see us as senior cadets yeah. we're like their role models so people to look up to get ready to move okay quickly come here move the vehicle go. right so the vehicle headed from that direction and they went past us and they planted an IED in that corner there I couldn't see much because there was loads of grass what could you see you can just mark on there so it's quick diagram okay any dramas um no. section one get ready to move It's our last year within cadets. It's going to be sad to go in there, Ed. Yeah. So. Spent how many years? Like five years. Five years of our life. Yeah. I pretty much fell in love with the army cadets, and yeah. that's pretty much why I joined. In you go. Go on. You can come out later. Go on. I know cadets when they put on the uniform, they feel proud. Yeah. I want to be able to wear my uniform out in public because I'm proud to wear it. Like sometimes when I'm ready early for cadets, I just stand outside in front of the car and just stand there and just. Mm. So I'm proud to, you know. You know, when it says on the form, what are you? I'm proud to tick the British part. Mm. So I love my country, so. Mm. Yeah. You know, you take a lot of things for granted that you can, you know, we've in this country we've got a free health service, you have freedom of speech, you know, free um, education. If you're fighting with a bayonet, you've either run out of bullets or you're very close quarters. So they were taught to only put it in a few inches, aim for somewhere like the neck where there'd be a lot of potentially fatal injuries. But some of them would break if you put it in too far, just like this one. So this one is from the First World War. Um, some of the things you've handled just now probably have killed men. Everything that we all do is a help to remember what happened 100 years ago. And it wouldn't be far to imagine it happening in the future, would it? So it's always a good thing to learn about. A lot of the men who uh, who died out in no man's land or died in the, in the trenches were never recovered. Um, perhaps their bodies were blown up and disintegrated. They used to have dog tags made out of cardboard before metal. Okay? So a lot of the soldiers became what's known as an unknown soldier. Mass, mass graves and loads of just individual graves with no name just a white cross with the unknown soldier. So could you imagine that if your your grandparents went to war and come back. you just well, you, you wouldn't know what happened. They never came back and you, you wouldn't you wouldn't know what happened to them. A lot of people respect the armed forces because obviously if we didn't have an armed forces I think I don't think it'd be very nice to live here. But you know they are sort of protecting our shores so we owe them a lot because things could be totally different. We might not be able to have a freedom of speech. There's loads of countries where if you said something about your president, your leader, you just get taken away in the middle of the night and they wouldn't see you again. When they get back, you need to tell them we need to get there now. We've got ten minutes to set up. Some take it way too seriously, some treat it like a youth club and don't take it seriously enough. But like, you can't really understand what Cadets is like until you've had the full experience. For me, when I come here, it's sort of like a stress relief sometimes. Like flushing everything out of my system. Let us pray. Almighty God, protect all those who serve in the forces of the Queen. 
Strengthen us in danger and temptation, and keep us steadfast when faced with the perils of action in war. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Take what you've got into your future lives. That confidence, that self-confidence that you've gained in cadets. Whether you join the army, or the reserves, or you come back and join us. An organisation that gives responsibility and the discipline that goes with that. In a society that gives nothing to the youth, really. Even the little one have to join in. Teddy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really want to go home. Missing Netflix. Anything that's not related to sort of this. Yeah.